what's up YouTube? It's Brian with Radical Prep. Welcome back. We're doing a new SAT prep for the um, systems of equations and word problem questions. It's definitely going to be on the SAT. So let's dive right in. When you see these questions, there's usually two equations. And with the word problems, there's usually one equation that deals with price and another one that deals with amount. And I'll say the easiest way to start off is just identify the amount equation. That's the easiest one to figure out. So let's dive right in and check it out in number one here. And again, you can follow along at home because you can download the PDF. I have it in the window. It's all free. Okay. At a movie theater, adult tickets cost 11 bucks and children's tickets cost 450 During a very busy weekend, the movie theater sold 1,284 tickets and made $10,524. Solving which of the following systems of equations yields the number of adult tickets sold, which is X, and the number of children's tickets sold, which is Y? All right, so first thing I'm going to do, identify my variables. So we've got adult equals x, and it said child, I'll just write child as y. Like I said before, identify the amount equation first. So my amount equation, right, is going to go, well, I've got some amount of adult tickets plus some amount of children's tickets, and they tell us they sold 1,284. 1,200. 84. So if I wanted to try and get this done really quick, I could just look at my answers for x plus y equals 1284. That doesn't have it. That doesn't have it. That's got it. That's got it. All right, so now we're down to two. Now let's do our price equation. So our price equation, we've got adult tickets. They cost 11 bucks each. We've got kids tickets. Y, right? They cost 450 each. Oop. For a grand total of 10, 5, 2, 4. That's your second equation. Let's find that one. And there it is. 11x plus 450y equals 10,524. Choice C, you are done. So the easy ones just want you to recognize which two equations you can use to solve. Let's do one where you actually have to solve. So number two. At Suds Car Wash, it costs $20 for a standard wash and $25 for the upgraded wash. On a Saturday, 200 cars are washed, bringing, bringing in a total of $4,400. How many cars got the upgraded wash? Okay, so let's again identify variables. $20 for a standard. So I'll write standard equals 20 bucks. And we'll call that variable S. And then upgrade, I'll just write up, oops, upgrade equals 25 bucks and we'll call that variable u and on a saturday 200 cars are washed so let's start there 200 cars are washed so some of them are standards some of them are upgraded but they should total 200 that's our amount equation just like we did before let's look at our price equation okay so in our price equation the standard ones cost 20 bucks so that's 20s plus 25u equals $4,400. All right, so now we've got two different equations. And hopefully from the previous lessons, you know how to solve when we have two different equations. So we need to make one look like the other. So since I want to solve for u or the upgraded ones, the upgraded washes, I want to multiply everything by 20. All right, so let me rewrite the equations below. 20s plus 20u equals 4,000. I'll rewrite the bottom one, our price one. 20s um, plus 25u equals 4,400 bucks. And to solve this, I'm going to subtract the top one and the bottom one. So 20 minus 20 cancels out. 20 minus 25, negative 5u. 4,000 minus 4,400 is negative 400. And I'm just going to continue this over here because I kind of ran out of space. So I'm going to cancel out the negatives because both sides have negatives. And it's just 5u equals 400. Divide by 5, divide by 5. And you got calculators at home. Or you can do it in your head and you should get 80. And that's it. So now that means that 80 cars got the upgraded wash. All right.
That's all you gotta do is solve a problem like that. Let's keep going. All right, this is number three. It says a scrapyard buys aluminum at 80 cents per pound and insulated copper wire for 15% less per pound. A seller wants to make $240 by bringing in a total of Z pounds of aluminum and copper. So there's your total. Which system of equations could represent this situation if, if A represents pounds of aluminum and C represents pounds of copper? All right, so let's do this. I always say it's easier to start with your amount equation, right? Or actually, let's let's identify variables first. So A is, um, what did we say A was? A is pounds of aluminum, pounds of aluminum. And then we got C is pounds of copper, right? So if we do our total equation or our amount equation, we know that aluminum, plus copper, it should be, it's actually a weird equation, it should be Z pounds, right? So A plus C equals Z. Then we've got a price equation. All right, so in our price equation, aluminum is going for 80 cents per pound. So that's 0 0.8 A plus, well, how much is copper going for? It's 15% less. So we've got to find 15% less of 0.8 quick way to do that I'll just write 0 0.80 times 0.85 so instead of doing 15% of 80 finding that number of minusing I can just multiply by 0.85 so that's 0 40 0 64 we have four decimal places 1 2 3 4 so that's 0.64 so that should be 0.64 64 C and what's our grand total 240 bucks right so 0 0.8 0 0.64 oh sorry I'm like I really messed up see point 0.68 adding helps <laughs> 0.68 geez so that confused look on my face 0 0.68 there we go Hey, it happens sometimes. Choice D. All right. So you got your total equation, your dollar sign equation, and then you're just trying to find the right answer. That's pretty much it. Keep going. Keep practicing. You're going to do better.